welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming here to watch my video. If you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And we would love to have you here in our family that always revolves around health, beauty, and lifestyle. Today, I thought that I would give you guys a little bit more of a bigger insight to who I am, why I'm in my YouTube channel, and what my YouTube channel is going to be about, and so on and so forth. And a little thing before I get started is, if you guys couldn't tell, I am experimenting with how to make my videos, different places I'm filming, and whether I'm going to hold it like, you know, up like a vlog, or if I'm going to sit at my desk, or if I'm going to sit on my bed. If you guys have a certain preference on where my videos look better or where the lighting is better, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because that would be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, first let's get on this, this get to know me, well, not get to know me. The first question on the new YouTuber tag 2019 is what is your name and what is the name on your channel and both of which are Keely Longoria because that is who I am and my channel is about my life and what I have to contribute to everybody else. The next question is what does the name of your channel mean and since it's my name this is going like this channel is to bring my experience out to you guys. This is to help you guys go through what you're going through by using my experience to help you out whether it's related to the gluten intolerance, IBS, dairy intolerance, being healthy, having beautiful lifestyles, living healthy and, and everything that has to do with bettering your life really. Where am I from? I am from Wisconsin. I'm not going to tell you guys what city. That's just creepy and I'm not going to tell you guys that. Why did, why did I start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel because I was frustrated at what I was seeing on the internet about what I was going through, whether it was the IBS, gluten intolerance, or dairy intolerance, because there wasn't anything out there, not to mention it took me forever to find a gluten-free makeup brand and the toiletries and I know it's all over the place and I want to make sure that you guys don't have to do that as well especially because the gluten intolerance and IBS is becoming a more popular thing now these days especially in this generation I want this channel to help you guys find the information that you want easier and you guys can ask me questions I have a Q&A coming up soon so if you have questions about anything just leave it down in the comments below and I will answer every single question. I will. I promise you guys and I will make it a bomb video. Who is my target audience? My target audience is honestly anyone that wants to better their life. Whether your goal is to live a healthier lifestyle, improve the way you're living, eating healthier, going gluten free, going dairy free, cutting out all the sugars and the fats, everything like that this channel is for you and especially to help you feel beautiful inside and out that's big because you can't you can feel beautiful on the outside but if you feel all crappy and dooky on the inside it's not going to matter because people only see what they want to see what do I hope to achieve with my channel I hope to reach an audience that needs the information that I put out there and I want to achieve Basically helping people, that's all I've ever wanted to do my whole life, is to help people become their better selves and to improve their lives to how they want to live their lives in all aspects. Not even just health, not just beauty, but in all aspects all across the board to live your better life. Top three favorite YouTubers. Oh my goodness. There are so many. Oh my gosh. Okay. My number one is Bethany Moda because I've been watching her since she was Mac Barbie 07 and she's always been a role model for me. She is one of the reasons I started YouTube. Then also my second favorite is Bria Krista and that's because she's just always so beautiful, full of energy. She's a great role model and she is honest. She's honest and I love her for that and her videos are amazing and colorful and just so beautiful. And then my third favorite YouTuber is Meredith Foster because I've been watching her since she was Style of Babe 09 on Seventeen Magazine and let me tell you guys her DIYs, the hairstyles, the life tips, the improving the life tips, they are amazing. If you have not watched these three YouTubers, you need to go watch them because let me tell you, you're not going to regret it. I would not send you guys to people that I don't enjoy. I would not send you guys to people like that. Who inspired you to start a channel? Well, that's a 50-50 question. 
He just won. Bethany Moda and Bria Cristo played a big part in that because I got inspired by their videos. But the second half is my experiences and my frustrations. Because like I said previously, I didn't find the information that I needed. So I was, you know, drowning in questions. I couldn't find anything. My doctor, my doctors could not even give me the answers to what I needed. And I was being sent from here to here to here to here to here. So it was frustrating. But yeah, those are those are the reasons and influences for making my channel. I want to just give everyone answers and be myself without being judged. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would that be? And that is tough because I have two absolute favorite YouTubers I would love to collab with. But the most likely one that I would collab with is Bria Creese just because Bethany Moda's like all the way up there. And I am not even at 30 followers. So, yeah. But hopefully, hopefully, I will get up there and keep creating great content for you guys because I am learning by watching other YouTubers and finding tips online and finding what I learn and putting forth that to making videos for you guys. Three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel. Now, this depends on the audience. One, I am myself on camera. Like honestly, you guys probably see the real me. My family doesn't even see the, re see the real me. No one else sees this. You guys see it because I'm honestly the most confident I am on camera. Number two, because I upload every day of the week. Seven days of the week, 25, eight, there is a video up every single day at noon which means you will never be bored because if you're sitting there like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to do, go watch one of my videos. And the third reason is because if you want to improve your life, you should be doing it with someone that's doing it at the same time as you. I am going through the struggles. I am going through the whole bing bang shabon and it's easier to go through a change if someone's with you. And I am not one of those people where if you message me, I'm not going to message you back. If you want to become besties on YouTube or besties online, just let me know, hit me up, and we will definitely start a friendship. Which channel already on YouTube are you mostly like? And that's hard because I haven't seen one like mine. I feel I feel like some people think mine's all across the board, even though mine's revolving around health, beauty, and lifestyle. So I really don't know how to answer that question because I can pick and choose where it's alike, but it's not all alike, unfortunately. Actually, no, fortunately, because that means that my channel stands out. What's your favorite thing about the YouTube community? My favorite thing about the YouTube community is how friendly everyone is. I posted a picture of what my YouTube channel looked like and I put it on my Instagram feed and I had people messaging me being like, hey, I love your channel. Do you want to subscribe and subscribe back? Now, I'll do that to be nice, but I will say, though, that's not how I want to gain my subscribers. I would like my subscribers to genuinely subscribe because they like my channel. I will not forever do subscribe or subscribe or subscribe to subscribe, but that's not really my style. But, you know, if someone's, you know, in need of it and they're, like, starting at zero, zero, then, yeah, I'm going to help them out. My least favorite thing about the YouTube community... I would say that the least favorite thing about the YouTube community is that there are people that will hide all their tips and tricks and not tell you until they're big, like, you know, with 200k subscribers or 100k subscribers. Like, there are people that will just hide their tips. And really, it's, you don't have to have something big and fancy to record. So let me tell you guys right now, this video is made and edited with my phone. Okay, I have a Galaxy S9, and I use both my front and back camera. Like right now, I'm using my front camera in my past couple of videos. I used my back camera just to see if there was a, a difference. And I edit my videos with Time Master with the watermark. You don't have to have something big and fancy. And my senior year of high school, I bought a Movavi editing software for a STEM project, and that was on my Surface Pro. And I edit my intro and outro on there, but you can make intros and outros on your phone on Kind Master. And Kind Master, you can get on both Android and iPhone. My music, I look up free copyright music on YouTube, put that in my video. You need a bell sound, ding sound, 
strut sound, horn sound, download it off of YouTube with a YouTube to MP3 converter. Like, you don't have to have everything like this. I have a Nikon D3200 on layaway at a thrift store, but that's because I just want to test it out. And my sister has a graduation coming up in four weeks, no more high school. So, you don't have to have everything. And that's what bothers me about some YouTubers is that they hide it. Now, there are some pretty awesome ones out there, and I can't remember her name, but I will link her in the description below because some of her tips have helped me a lot in learning about the lighting and the music and editing and all that stuff. So I will leave her down below, but my biggest pet peeve with the YouTube community is that some people try to hide how to be successful and that's not really teamwork. It's not nice. <laughs> what do I think that I could bring to the YouTube community that isn't there already? And I would say maybe a different perspective. I have always been that person that doesn't agree with something or, you know, someone says something, everyone agrees with that, but I will be that one person that disagrees and I'm like, no, I don't agree with you. I feel like it's a whole different scenario, a whole different area of expertise that's needed here or no, I don't like this, we should be doing this. So I feel like I would be that YouTuber that would disagree with a lot of stuff, but I would have a good reason why. Three things that you should know about me. The first one, which I've noticed from watching my own videos, is that I don't always enunciate my words or pronunciate uh, either or uh, I don't always enunciate my words and that's because I've always spoken really fast the second one is that if you see a lot of like pause in my videos like where you know I could be standing here and that's when I'm over here that's because I cut out all the times that I cough and sneeze because you know allergy season hits me I get sick a lot and also if my video sounds all like deep and raspy, then yeah, I'm sick, but I'm still making a video for y'all because I'm cool like that. The third thing is that I can be kind of a goofball. Like if you watch my DIY rain light video, I'm like putting the wreath over my head going like da da da. Um, I can be a real weirdo, but that will be a day, you know, either I'm really hyped up on caffeine or I just feel like being really silly that day or that day I'm just feeling like myself, honestly. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a YouTuber? The biggest thing is getting noticed. Now, I don't know, know if I mentioned this in any of my other videos, but I used to have a YouTube channel maybe six, seven years ago, and this is when I started watching other YouTubers. And that was under Keely Beauty 22. I have not deleted it. I don't know my information. So if you want to see where I truly started, go look there and go look at my videos. Now, I didn't know anything about subscribers back then. I didn't know anything about video editing. Like, I literally started with my RCA tablet and my front camera. And I edited my thumbnails with Pixart. Like, I didn't add filters, I didn't know any of that, so I really started from scratch there. But a lot of people are picky, they don't want to, they don't want to subscribe to new YouTubers because they're new YouTubers, they don't have, you know, the best videos, or they don't know how to do flawless editing, which really doesn't exist, but... The hardest thing is gaining subscribers and getting your name out there. What do you think the most rewarding thing will be? I think the most rewarding thing for being on YouTube is becoming yourself. There are a lot of people that, you know, hide their true selves, but when you're in your room or outside by yourself and you're on camera, you can be yourself. So the most rewarding things are becoming yourself and gaining confidence because if you can be all silly and crazy and laughing on camera and have to be able to make mistakes on camera, it helps you outside in the long run. Like, I actually feel more confident in my college classes talking because I talk to you guys. I, I'm, well, okay, I'm talking to a camera, but I'm still talking to you guys. And it's actually helped me a lot, especially in my speech class, so that's a plus. A fourth thing you guys should know about me is I do answer questions, but I tend to do a little bit over the top. But that's okay, because that means that there's more, there's more for you guys to learn about me. 
who I see myself being on YouTube for a long time. I sure plan on it and I hope that you guys help me be on here longer. I really, I'm always going to create content for you guys and I'm going to try to create the best content for you guys possible. So yes, I do plan on being on YouTube for a very long time. Do I have any tips or advice for others who are just now starting a YouTube channel? So I have two. I have two big tips actually. The first one is don't be afraid to be yourself on camera. If you have to wait till the rest of your family goes out to the grocery store and you just bring yourself out, do it. Don't be scared. I was scared. Okay, well, like right now, I'm really all hyped up because I had a lot of caffeine today and, you know, I'm just... College finals. Caffeine is a must-have. But the second thing is, is you don't have to wait. There is no right time to start a YouTube channel. There is no right equipment that you need. Because like I just said, I edit and record my videos on my phone, Galaxy S9 right here. And you don't have to make your intros on Movavi or even on a computer. You can make your intros on Kindmaster. And there are videos and tutorials all over. So my one intro that had the Keely Longoria that went like, on like um on a white cloud and add the glittery background that was made on kind master and i think my intro before that was also made on kind master so there's no right equipment there's no right time there's no right makeup hair outfits whatever and there's no right life that you have to have to make a youtube channel if you don't think your life is interesting you don't know that because you live it every day someone else might have a totally opposite outlook on you like they're like oh my gosh she goes to walmart like every day i wish i could go to walmart every day or something like that because i would tell you i go to walmart like three or four times a day if i'm lucky i won't go at all but that's rare so there's nothing right about starting a youtube channel the time location um equipment none of that those are my main tips for people beginning YouTube because I used to think that and let me tell you guys, I'm pretty sure that my channels, my channel would have grown a lot if I would have stayed building up from Keely Beauty 22. Unfortunately, I did not, but fortunately I am back now and that is what matters when you're a YouTuber is you always come back for your audience. You come back to make more awesome content for them to watch and to get to know hey guys. So I hope that you guys learned a little bit more about me and my channel and what I'm all about and what I love to share with you guys. And without further ado, I would like to just also thank you guys for sticking with me because I know I can maybe be a little, little cringeworthy, but that's okay because that's me and if you stick with me through my channel, obviously you like that and you find that interesting. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment with any questions that you might have about anything, whether it's about me, the health, gluten, IBS, anything. Because I'm going to be having a Q&A once I have at least 20 questions. And I think right now I have like one. <laughs> um, so yeah, leave me questions and I will be making a Q&A as soon as possible. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to hit that sub. <laughs>